An 84-year-old great-grandmother has been reunited with a policeman who rescued her from a 72-hour bush ordeal. Patricia Byrne says she had no idea a massive search had been launched and was simply following a riverbed, hoping to get home. Well done. Yes, thank you. Yes, lovely. Thank you very much. Patricia Byrne forever grateful for a job well done. Yeah. An amazing moment, wasn't it? That was incredible. Yeah. Just, yeah. just wanted to run up to you. <laughs> the last time she saw policeman Stephen Ball, the New Zealand tourist was in her 72nd hour lost in the remote Stirling Range National Park. She'd been reported missing in the Great Southern four days earlier by a distraught family. I made the mistake of coming... Uh, through some bush where John and John were, um, and then I sort of lost my way. The 84-year-old was without food or water, but believed if she followed a partially dried up creek bed, she would eventually get home. Now I've been told the creek bed divides or something. Patricia Byrne completely unaware of the large-scale bush search unfolding around her. Trish! It's the SS! Can you hear us? When it got dark, I found somewhere to lie flat and rest my head on, on a, a log or something and have a bit of sleep. And just as her family started to prepare for the worst, deep in the Stirling Ranges, a glimpse of hope for the 84-year-old. When I heard this car go past on the road, I thought, oh, I'll have a look at that. The moment that you did see the two police officers, what were you thinking? Um, well, I thought they were coming to say hello, you know, g'day. <laughs> These two police officers, the first faces the stoic great-grandmother had seen in three days. Faces it's likely she'll never forget. Are you up for adoption? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, it's an incredible moment, incredible moment to see her doing so well. And, yeah, to see her just laughing and joking and... It's remarkable what she'd been through and marvellous to see her like that. Emotional. <laughs> yeah, that's going to stay with me. Yeah, that's going to stay with me for my career. And no doubt it will stay with Patricia Byrne too. The sheer fact that she survived such an ordeal, dense bush and temperatures as high as 36 degrees, is truly a miracle. Staff here at Albany Hospital are amazed at how healthy she is, how well she survived her accidental adventure. They'll monitor Patricia Byrne a bit longer before she's released to spend Christmas with her family and a brand new great grandson born the day she went missing. And you've got a new grandbaby. Yeah. Oh, oh, boy. oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Grace Fitzgibbon, Nine News.